A brand new scenery with hidden easter eggs, the return of the goblin builder, a 12% builder boost for the entire month, hidden deals online, 2 times star bonus, and a pending event with possibly a new piece of equipment. The 12th clash reversary event has so many little things that we need to break down so that all players can benefit. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's post production BD here. I just wanted to let you know that some of the things in this video are a little dated. Um, that's on our fault. We didn't produce it in time, but there is still a lot of good information in this video. So I did want to include it. I uh, just thought you guys should, should know and keep an open mind, you know, just about that. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the brand new scenery, which evidently you guys absolutely hated, but I've looked through this scenery inch by inch, and there are some really cool things that I think people have missed. And for those of you that don't know, I'm a huge anime fan. My favorite anime is Attack on Titan. So this was an absolute pleasure for me to go through. Now, obviously every Everybody knows that the statue on the top left is a reference to Naruto, but there's a lot more than that. For example, the birds that are flying above the statues really remind me of the birds flying above Falco's head in Attack on Titan. There are also these little wisps of blue flame that keep jumping around all over the map. Probably they have something to do with the witch in the opening screen as they're present there too. I'm not really sure what the anime reference is here though, so if you guys do know, let me know. There's also a little barbarian going super sane in the bottom left corner, which I think is a really, really cool addition. The forge looks like it could come straight out of Howl's moving castle with the specific art style that they picked for it. And the art style across some of the city buildings really gives me strong Doro Hedoro vibes, but maybe that's just me. But ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people missed the biggest reference in this scenery. I might as well just say this is the best reference ever in any scenery in my opinion. So it turns out I completely got this wrong and I wanted to include this because I thought you guys would think it was funny but yeah this is not a uh, avatar reference this is a Dragon Ball Z fusion reference Ooh, so this is this is pretty embarrassing um, you can you can make fun of me in the comments if you'd really like but uh yeah. Also, I'm sure there are other things in this scenery that I just simply don't know the references to. So if you have an idea of what those could be, please comment below. Now, onto the skins. I'm not gonna say much about them. People hate them and in my opinion, I appreciate the effort. But I swear these things look like they're 15 frames slower than anything else in the game right now. Also, the Barbarian King running looks like one of those abnormal titans from Attack on Titan and I thought that was just a little bit funny. This is definitely a missed opportunity to incorporate the Naruto run though, in my opinion. And the fact that Gojo never made an appearance anywhere and all of this is super, super disappointing, especially since Jogo made an appearance in the war scenery. But enough about cosmetics, let's go ahead and talk about the 12% builder boost that we're going to get this month. Now this is a pretty ordinary boost, so by itself it's nothing super special. However, this boost stacks and that's absolutely insane. So you can get 12% from the building bonanza, plus 20% from the gold pass to achieve 32%. This is genuinely one of the biggest time reductions we have seen in a very long time. Now unfortunately it doesn't apply to the cost of buildings so it's not like hammer jam and you can't just spam the walls but that being said this could be a great time to sneak in some hero levels because they are super short for my town hall 15s and town hall 16s you guys are going to be benefiting a lot from this because you just have longer upgrades which means you have more time reductions so for players especially free to play players you should really be doing the core upgrades and the very important ones this could minimize the amount of magic items you need in the future to max the account furthermore more, still use your magic items if you have to, but while you can steal the builder percentage, you might as well go ahead and do it. So in summary, longer upgrades equals longer time reductions and thus better value out of this event. But it doesn't stop there because we got hooked up with the most punchable character in all of Clash of Clans history. Now without a doubt, this is the best goblin builder event we've had. This is because the stacked builder reductions will actually affect the cost of the goblin goblin builder, making it super cheap. So here's some example math for all of you. Say you have an upgrade that was 14 days long, 12% reduction makes it 12.3 days. This would actually save you 67 gems with the goblin builder. But if you had a maxed gold pass on top of this, this would actually make this upgrade 9.5 days long, and this would save you 180 gems with the goblin builder. Essentially, the longer the upgrade, the more reduction on the 
Goblin Builder, so if there was ever a time that you should invest into the Goblin Builder, it's right now. That being said, if you're going to play for the next year, then I think the Apprentice Builder is the way to go, but most people are not going to be this consistent, so I'd rather just go with the Goblin Builder instead. And remember that the only time that you should be using the Goblin Builder is if you can consistently keep down all of your other builders. Otherwise, you're not really making a lot, you're actually going to be wasting a ton of your gems. Now really quickly, I just want to say something about this season. I know a lot of people have been really negative about the release of this season and trust me, I get that. We all really like anime and if you really like something, you want it to be a good collab, especially with one of your favorite games. But don't let one bad thing ruin the entire month for you. Again, think about all the stuff we are getting. We're getting a 12, 32% builder boost basically. We're getting a, the Goblin Builder who is better than he's ever been before and we're also getting a metal event as well as probably a new piece of equipment this month so there's gonna be a tons of stuff and don't let this one bad thing really hit you too hard remember that negativity spreads a lot more contagiously than positivity so definitely express your opinions i think you should do that but don't make it worse than it has to be and i'm sure that a lot of you already know this but that's how it is in the real world too. All right, but moving on from the serious talk, you guys already know we're gonna have some pretty awesome deals in both of the trader shop as well as the actual shop that you can buy with real money. But did you know that there were some hidden deals as well that most players can't even see? And I'm going to get to the hidden ones in just a second, but a real quick note on the normal deals that we're going to get. If you're going to buy anything from the shop, make sure you have upgrades that can actually use magic items first. Again, that's anything longer than 12 days prior to any time reductions. I think that anything with a book that's under $5 is a great deal, except for the book of spells because we get way too many of those anyways. And this is really important to know because we're going to get a lot of really good offers this month for players who are interested. I also do offer analysis from time to time on the community tab, so make sure to subscribe for that. That being said, I would not recommend buying any of these deals in the actual game. This is because if you go online, you can actually find some hidden deals that you can't see in the game. In fact, there's a whole hidden bonus track here that gives you tons of gems and magic items if you buy online. There are even special deals that you can only find at the online shop and you literally can't find anywhere else. And I don't know why nobody talks about this a lot more. I know personally I need to start talking about it a lot more because anything you buy in the game you can buy online and you can get additional rewards so it's literally just better every single time. So spenders go online to make purchases for your mobile game weird but it works now out of all the things that we talked about in this video the thing that probably needs a little bit more attention is the goblin builder the thing is i've already made a fully fleshed out video analyzing the goblin builder and the goblin researcher and you can watch that video right here if you want to decide for yourself whether or not you should put your hard-earned gems into this feature